Please welcome Rose Byrne, everybody. Are you all right? Are you comfortable there? Sometimes it can be a wee bit odd. No, that it's, one. it's very fresh in here, isn't it? Is it? Yes. Fresh, we like to keep. Yeah. I like to keep it cold in here. Yes. It reminds me of where I'm from. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> where are you from? Are you not an American? Are you? No, by? I'm from Australia. Which part? Uh, Sydney. Sydney, yes. Australia. That's the glamorous hip hoppity totally one. Totally glamorous. Totally hip. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. What, what, not what? really at all. Is no, Sydney. Sydney is, I th is it, Sydney's like a big American city. I thought when I was there. It's yeah, very it's kind of... pretty cosmopolitan. Lots of yeah. You know, they're really into real estate. Do you read the like Cosmopolitan that. magazine by any chance? Um. That's the one that gives all the tips. You know, for the ladies. A lot of tips. Yeah, yeah, a lot of tips for the ladies. Do you ever? Do you ever? <laughs> do you ever read it? Um. I read it all the time. Do you? Yeah. I like. I've never met anyone who knows that. Never met anyone who knows that. We oh, yeah, uh, Brittany. Brittany in Powder Springs. She knew that one. We yeah. yeah. I know. I, don't, I haven't read Cosmopolitan for a while. I find them a little overwhelming, those magazines. They yeah. can tend to make you feel much worse than when you first started the magazine. No, they, you they, know, they, they, at the end, right. you feel pretty. Yeah, miserable. I usually feel a sense of shame. Yes. <laughs> What, what part of America have you moved to then? Where are you um, living? I'm living in um, New York, in the Very West nice. Village. Yeah, we, we the West Village, Yeah, you say. down in the West Village. That would yeah, be nice for you. Lots yeah. Of, um, it's oh, quiet for you, I'd imagine. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's pretty peaceful. Well, I'm actually near, live near a hospital, so it's actually quite noisy because there's a lot of ambulances going past my really? apartment a lot. Yeah. <laughs> And they're very well, you, loud. You, the you, you, well, the you know, sirens in it's America, a yeah, yeah. it's like a serious, you know, <laughs> like a really loud noise that's like, I think I heard something. I think there was yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it, the whole thing is kind of uh, to get other people to move out of the way. <laughs> Although, I have to be honest with you, in New York, they don't seem to do that, do they? Like, the, the sirens go, whoop, whoop, whoop. People are like, yeah, what? <laughs> What? Oh, I know, no, no, everyone's got their priorities in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of the way and get, get on with it. Do you feel you've become a New Yorker? Have you immersed yourself in that um, city's... A little bit, definitely. No, I've got, you know, my place where I go for my coffee and my place where I like my brunch and where I do my laundry and, you know, all the sort of New York things. And I found a good apartment, which I like, which, you know, takes... It's near the hospital, while. but rather yeah, than... Thank God, it's I mean, near the hospital. Should anything, God forbid, anything happen to you, you'd be handy. I am right you could just near the hospital. run bleeding yeah. down the street and, and be right out. I am a bit of a hypochondriac as Are well. you a hypochondriac? Yeah, a little bit of a hypochondriac. Andrea. Really? Yeah. What, what illnesses do you... Because uh, I'm a bit like that. Are you really? Yeah, 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 wow, maybe it's a Celtic thing. Maybe it is. Uh, are you, uh, yeah, yeah. Are your family Scottish? I'm Irish and Scottish heritage. So ah, so yeah. you'll enjoy getting hideously drunk then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, you're Australian. What am I saying? Uh, do, you, do you enjoy uh, that? Um, I will, you know. I am, um, you know, well, New York is incredibly social. I've it never is met very, it. It's very. just you meet for lunch, you meet for breakfast, you meet for dinner, drinks, cocktail, you know, everything. Yeah, every, yeah, yeah. You know, it starts quite, quite late as well, you know, like in New York, if you meet at eight, it's okay. If you leave at eight to get there at nine, you know what I mean? Yes, it's all it sort is of a similar kind of. of it's, I find frame. people being late is very passive aggressive. It is passive aggressive. I think so I'm too. With you. Yeah, I'm I with you like too. That. I don't yeah, like I'm it. If you're going to be there, be there at eight. I know. I know it drives me nuts. You know? Like, yeah, yeah. An honest relationship? I like aggressive to be aggressive aggressive. Same here. Yeah, yeah. Let's just be aggressive. Yeah, let's, let's all be instead of this. Right. <laughs> that's, no, that's fine. No, that's good. Are you enjoying working with uh, Glenn Close? Yeah, I this? believe she came on your she show. She came on the show. Yeah. She's a charming woman. She's very charming. Yeah, yes. I was a bit scared of her, to be honest. Oh, why? She's Glenn Close. <laughs> no, she's like. I mean, she's very regal. She's she like, is. She's, she is. She's got. She's very distinguished and she's yeah, yeah. Um, very classy. And she's she ever, she's did, How smart. is she around around your pets and stuff on the set? Does she ever... <laughs> well, I didn't bring my yet. No, is she crazy? <laughs> is she crazy? Do you think you can sit? Nobody's watching. Do you think she's crazy? She's not... No, she's uh, she's an incredibly lovely, generous. Warm woman, she's See, that's interesting. Woman. Every single person I talk to in show business gets along great with every single other person <laughs> in show business. That's so weird, isn't it? That's freaking me out. You would have thought. I know. You would have thought everyone's friends. It's never a problem. It's almost yeah. like there were publicists behind <laughs> things. <laughs> this is so odd. Do you have all that? Do you have a publicist? 
Yeah, I do. Well, I hence, do, hence, yeah. hence here. Uh, yeah, 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 that's yeah. the reason I'm here. Oh, right. right. <laughs> that's nice. That's good. <laughs> do you like, do you throw yourself into the show business kind of social side? Do you go to the parties and the premieres and that? Oh, I'm not, no, I'm fairly timid. I'm quite shy. Sort oh, really? of person. Yes, I know I probably come across like, I don't know, but no, You I don't, am. actually, you don't, you come across as quite shy. Yes, no, yeah. I am. <laughs> you do. Really? You're being passive aggressive? No, I no. Uh, I'm, <laughs> no, I, I, if I was being passive aggressive, I'd do this. Oh, yeah, shy. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. shy, yeah. yeah, oh you're really yeah. shy. You're really yeah. shy, aren't you? Don't like going yeah, out, yeah. do you? Oh, it must be no. hard for a shy girl like yeah, you. Yeah, it's tough for you, isn't yeah. it, in New York? In New York, with your, you know, your place TV where you go. You're next to the yeah. hospital. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you, uh, where do you go for your coffee when you go out for your coffee? Um, there's a really great little place called Joe's Coffee on Waverly and Six which is excellent and they do a great soy latte which is my, soy my latte. choice of drink. I'm a complete wanker when it comes to coffee so I had to find the right place. Uh, the, uh, and I have, so everyone can breathe a sigh of relief. Yeah, well, yeah. you know, wh why was this coffee better than perhaps the uh, other coffee? Um, just the bean is really good quality. And cat the, food? You know what I'm saying? Is it, is, it, is it coffee that's gone through the digestive tract of a cat? <laughs> That's what I'm saying to you. That's, because that's the coffee everybody's drinking these yeah, days. Yeah, I know. But no, it's definitely not gone through the digestive tract of a cat. Well, that is know. a real tongue twister, that one. Yeah. What, digestive tract, tract of a cat? Mm-hmm. That's good. That's a tricky one. I know. I, I know it is. Yeah, that's hard. That yeah, I, I won't be saying that again. <laughs> you are a charming young woman, but we don't have any more time. Will you come back and see us some I would time? love to. Oh, lovely. Rose Byrne, everybody. We'll be right back. Jeremy Fisher. Please welcome the lovely Rose Byrne, everybody. Rose Byrne. How lovely to see you at last. I feel Thank I've waited you. so long to see oh, you. I, really? I, thought, I thought I was going to see you last week. Oh, I know. <laughs> Time flies. It does, it really apparently. Does fly. Not to James Spader, who was here last week. <laughs> and <laughs> and yes. talked for hours. Yes. hours. He needs his own show. He does need yes. his own talk show, yeah. James Spader. Do you like James Spader as an actor? I do. I love him. Secretary, this wonderful film That's he did with Maggie Gyllenhaal. A bit raunchy, it's very scary. funny. Yeah. Mm. I love that movie. Funny, I, I, when I saw that film, I thought it was kind of um, naughty. Yeah, no. it is naughty. I it's knew not... I liked it. Yeah. yeah. I didn't, is it funny? I suppose it's quite funny. It's kind of strangey, weird yeah, funny. Yeah, it's a bit bent. It's a bit dark. Which... Aren't we all a little bit, though, yes, really? Yeah, we are. We are. Yeah, yeah. Right, are you, yeah. Do you have a very dark sense of humour, do you think? I, I'd say so. I'm Australian, so I always enjoy a little bit of, you well, know... it's very sunshiny in Australia. Uh, yes, that's true. But um, I think we would more sort of have a sarcastic sense of humour, I suppose. Yes. Less literal than the Americans. <laughs> no, Americans sure. can be sarcastic. For example, I'm an American and I can be very yeah, sarcastic. Yeah, congratulations! Yeah. That's wonderful! Thank you. I, have I'm you so considered pleased. being and coming an American citizen? Um, not yet, but um, never say never. Do you feel different? You yes, look a very, different. very, very different. Yeah. I enjoy gum and uh, <laughs> I enjoy gum and fabulous dentistry. Uh, all the advantages of living. I'm in going the... to the dentist next week. Really? Yeah. What you haven't done? Well, I've had an issue. I can't chew on this side of my mouth because my tooth is um, really, there's, I think there's a problem. I'm not sure. Well, of course there's yeah. a problem. Yeah. If, you can't, <laughs> if, if it's shut down a whole side know, of your mouth, know, that's... This, uh... this, this side's gotten all bulky because I'm chewing everything on this side and I, I'm rubbing my jaw. The whole, I look like a main, I look like a drug addict the whole time. Because <laughs> I, I think it's gotten all bulked up. But anyway. So, so you're chewing on this side and you're building yeah. a giant jaw yeah, muscle there. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting a massive, like, some what about, kind of weird What about a nice thing. remake of Popeye? You could get... <laughs> well, my dress! Arr, arr, arr. I kind of look like a bit of spinach in this dress. No, no it's lovely, that dress. What are you saying? It's like St. Patrick's Day for sexy I'll people. <laughs> Thank you. That is, it's a little bit of an homage. Yeah. Do you think I look like a leprechaun? <laughs> Borderline? Borderline. Yeah, no, I, uh, leprechauns to me are little gingery, annoying things. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Come on, I can see that. 
It's part of my heritage. I'm allowed to say, oh, me pot of gold, oh, me lucky charms, oh, gold. Now, yeah, this is very festive. Yeah, yes, and that yes. Is, is like a little pot of gold, though, on your arm oh, right there. Oh, thank you, yes. Is I've that got, real got a jewelry jewels with yeah, diamonds oh, and jewels? Very, and... yes. Did you are. steal it? I stole it earlier today. Yes. Can't you hear the sirens? They're coming after me. No, no. no and it's, uh, <laughs> they were here last week looking for you, but they missed you. No. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, you better tell me about this film you're in then. Yes, What's the, uh... um, it's a lovely romantic comedy called Adam and um, I play a girl called Beth Buckwald um, and she moves into a new building and she... Is she um... a vampire? <laughs> Just trying to help. Do you think I'm from Twilight? You, do you know who I am? No, no, no. I, I, just, I just thought I would say, you know, vampire. I felt I should tell. You, you throw it in. Okay. Yeah. Um, not a vampire. Not a vampire. Then. Not a vampire. Not a vampire. Well, there's a, there's a tick mark yes, there. There you go. Yep. Yep. Um, and she meets this gentleman who's on the stairs, and they develop this unlikely friendship, uh, complicated by the fact he has Asperger's syndrome. No, what is Asperger's syndrome? Uh, I don't know what it is. It's high functioning autism. So it's basically you have a hard time kind of reading people and reading body language. And for instance, it would be hard for an Asperger's person to do a talk show. Incredibly honest, so you'd probably have a really great conversation. Whereas, you know, <laughs> with most actors, they'd probably just be. No, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know anything about Asperger's syndrome. Yeah. I'm deathly afraid of offending the Asperger's syndrome people of America. Yeah, yeah. you should be. But then again, yeah. they wouldn't be yeah. able to pick up if I was. Uh... In fact, I think they would. No, well, they no, would. I think they yeah, they would. Would. They're All actually right. uh, incredibly intelligent. So uh, no, I'm not saying they weren't intelligent. Yeah, they just, you know, you if saying? I did it with body language, they wouldn't know. No. Like, no right. Yes. So but if I went kind of like, like, <laughs> then you'd be all right. Then. All right. Let's stop talking about it. Well, you're blowing it up. You're blowing. Really, you just no. Okay. You turned up with it. Don't stop it. Okay. You turned. All right. All right. Anyway. Look, when you yell at me, I feel that you're not listening. Right. <laughs> They fall in love, and the romance is, ob is there's an obstacle because of this condition. So uh, but, her, but, her family know. doesn't approve, and it becomes sort of you know um, difficult within her life. Um, but it's very funny, it's very sweet, and um, it's a great sort of antidote to Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine if you like Transformers as well. I, I, uh, anyway. I, I haven't seen the second Transformers movie. Only one reason. I for had that. to have a Neurofen, a well, of Advil, you know. After really? I saw it. Mm. Well, I, uh, who advertises on CBS? Neurofen or Advil? <laughs> Neither one? All right. You, I had to add, drug, so... No, just, yeah. just no. Anyway. I have crystal meth or something, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but I was actually, I was, um, I was in India when I got the script, so I wasn't planning on working, but... Um, what were you doing in India? I was uh, travelling around with my man. We went for like three weeks and... Are um, you, is your boyfriend in India? Uh, no, he's from uh, Australia, from Cronulla. He's, um, and could that work an Australian with another Australian? What? what? <laughs> and so he's a anyway. vampire, you're saying? <laughs> so you and the Australian vampire are flying around India. No, he's not a vampire. He's yeah, Australian. Are you, are, are he's you, no, let, let me just ask you a question. How well do you really know this guy? <laughs> like, at night, when very you both well. go to well, sleep. Well, we got to know each other very well when we went camel riding together. That was interesting in India. Have you ever been camel riding? Not in India mm. or anywhere else. There are, <laughs> <laughs> For that matter. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, they're an interesting animal, those camels. What camels? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they can be quite mean camels. Yeah, though. they are. They're Sarcastic, they're actually. Sarcastic. <laughs> I really, no. Very hard to read their body language. They are. <laughs> <laughs> actually, a camel's pretty blunt. A camel is like they were lying on the ground like this, and then, you know, the guys go over and wrench them up, and they're so grumpy. They're like... <laughs> And they spit and Whoa, 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 whoa. All this, whoa. Green, all this green Go back liquid. to the camel getting up. Do the camel getting up again. <laughs> that is the most yes. awesome, sexy camel awakening <laughs> I have ever seen. I don't know I've only ever that. seen one, to be fair, but I that's... Don't know the, about that. No, but they're, they're very strange animals, and they have these lips that go like this, and this frothy green stuff, seriously coming out of the mouth, and it reeks. They've got a chronic case of the helitosis. It's feral. <laughs> it's feral. But anyway, we got on the camel and went for a ride, and then, yeah. It's really fun, actually. All right, yeah. all right. <laughs> Once they're up. But they're just really irritable. They're just like yeah, well, really you know, grumpy. We've all had mornings thing. like that. Exactly. Be fair. Be fair. No, no, no. No, yeah. exactly. They're hey, we're out of time. Irritable. Yeah, you don't want to get all 
speed her on me, do you? <laughs> Lovely to see you again. Thanks we'll come back soon, will you? Pleasure. All right. Thank Rose you so Garden, much. everybody. We'll be right back.